Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm out here doing another video, and we're, you know, I only got about an hour left of sunlight, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and use my flash today, even though I really didn't want to. I've been enjoying not using it, and I've been happy with the photos I've been getting without it. But I do got another surprise today. I couldn't help myself. I've been enjoying this uh, R10 for the macro so much. As you guys know, I was using the 100 to 400 in my last video. I went ahead and did it, and I got a macro lens for it. So we're going to talk about that in a second, and I'll tell you what lens I got. I was going to get a new flash because this one's horrible. It has like a five-second recharge time. It's absolutely horrible for macro photography. But I, I'm going to hold off on that because I really wanted a macro lens for this camera. So um, I was out here last week and tried to do a video, and uh, it was real windy like it is now, and I was using no flash. So it, it didn't really go well. I did, get a, I did get a few photos for you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and share those photos with you guys. I found a spot that had a bunch of snails, so while I didn't get any you know, award-winning shots of those snails, I still got some shots I'm pretty happy with. So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you guys, so enjoy those while we go and uh, look for our first subject. Well, hope you enjoyed those photos from last week, and I have found my first subject. I think it is a lynx spider, but it could be a green magnolia spider. I haven't really gotten close enough because I don't want to spook it. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep the settings right where they are for now. The uh, flash is on 1 16th. I'm at 1 100th, F8, 200 ISO. He's kind of right on the top of the leaves. Of this plant here which if i can position myself well he's already moving on me it's going to make for just a cool photo let's see if we can get this for you guys all right so that was with the flash i'll share that one with you guys now but I'm going to turn my flash off because of the way he's positioned up on top of the plant. I really think that a, a more wider environmental shot, or not really environmental, but if I go wider, I really do think that I can get a really cool looking shot of him. So I'm actually going to go, I think I'm going to go to F4. And we're going to try that first. I'm at 1 250th, F4, ISO 200. I'm going to back off and see what we can get here. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. Okay, so I think that's going to be a good one. So I'm going to put that up on the screen now. And there is a, an old flower kind of near him. I'm wondering if I, if I go to the other side of him, if I can get a shot with that kind of flower 
bulk it out in the background. See if I can do this without scaring him. The sun's also going to be in the background too though. So this might not work the way I'm wanting it to. We'll see. Oh, his leg's in the way. It's blocking his head. Hmm. Let me try it from the other side and see what we can do. Oh. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see if I can actually use my screen. Okay, so there's the flower. And then, oh, now the wind kicked up. So this might work. Well, I took several shots there. What I'm worried though is that I didn't get one with his eyes in focus. Let's check this one real quick. They're close, but not quite. Oh, there we go. Eyes are in focus on that shot. It's got the flower bokeh out in the foreground. I like it. I think it makes for an awesome shot. I'm going to go ahead and throw that up for you guys now. Let me know what you think. We're going to go ahead and search for another subject. So I'm still with the spider. I haven't left him. And I have a, uh, there's a grasshopper on a piece of grass. I'm kind of wanting to go for a more minimalistic shot of him. And again, I'm going to kind of, I'm not going to be one-to-one -one on this. I'm going to back off a bit. I'm just hoping I can do this without scaring the spider away. I'm actually almost touching the spider right now, which is pretty amazing. He still hasn't ran. This piece of grass going in my mouth. The spider didn't even move. I think I'm going to take another photo of him. I just like them. It, it is a lynx spider, by the way. It's not a green magnolia spider. All right. Oh, geez, sorry. I think I yelled in the mic. They're trying to get up. Woo. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put those on now and keep looking. Okay, so... I am starting to lose light, so I have my kids. I've sent them off to start looking for something. And what are you doing behind the camera? You got to look for insects. <laughs> I guess you wanted to watch the camera instead of looking for insects. Okay, so this lens, I just realized I didn't tell you guys what lens it was. It's the Tamron 90 millimeter 2.3. What is this? DI Macro 1 to 1 VC USD. Now, this is the newest version. It's the F017E or something like that. It's, it's basically you got to go off that number to know that you got the newest one. Now, I was looking at two lenses. I was looking at this Tamron 90 millimeter and I was looking at the Canon 100 millimeter L series, uh, the EF version, obviously. I can't afford the new RF stuff. Um, the I really wanted the L series. It would have been a basically, I think about $150 more. Uh, bought, I was looking at them used. And I just couldn't justify spending the extra $150. I looked at so many reviews of each. And this one has the weather ceiling, which had to have. That was one of the things on my checklist. It also had the image stabilization, which it had to have. That was on my checklist. And the cool thing about this one is the image stabilization on this was upgraded on this particular lens with the one-to-one -one macro in mind. And it's awesome. I tested it at my house. You could, uh, maybe in one of my next videos, I'm not going to do it today, but I'll take some video at one-to-one -one with the image stabilization off and the image stabilization on. And show you guys the difference, especially for, because a lot of people right now say that image stabilization does nothing. But they, they really are getting better at this stuff, and, and it really does help. Um, like I said in my last video, it helps people like me a lot. I am super shaky. I don't, I just struggle. 
<laughs> holding things still. I can't do it. So, um, but that's great. It has the weather ceiling. It does one to one. I didn't care for the, you know, the two to two. Everybody says get the Lawa because it has that extra magnification. I am happy with this, as you just saw in some other shots. I didn't even do the one to one. And if I really do want more magnification on this, I just throw the Rainox 250 on there and it's awesome. I'm completely happy with that. So the Lawa doesn't have weather sealing. Um, this one is also, in a lot of the reviews, people were saying that it might actually be slightly sharper than that Canon 100 millimeter, which I thought was awesome too. So that, that seemed to be the things they focused on. Tamron focused on with this lens was the sharpness and the they focused on doing the image stabilization actually targeting towards that one-to-one. -one. But uh, yeah, so I'm totally happy with this. I did have to get the adapter, so add the adapter in there and I basically spent the same that I would have spent on the Canon 100 millimeter, except I would have had to get the adapter for the 100 millimeter as well. So I would have spent a lot more. Um, totally happy with it though. You guys will see the photos I'm taking with it today. I don't think they're finding anything. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop right here and see if I can, maybe we'll move to another spot. The winds actually died down a bit. So we might go look in these hollies where we see a lot of the, uh, regal jumping spiders. Oh no, my battery just died. So my son just found something that I don't believe I photographed before. I just went to turn on the camera and my battery's dead. I have two more batteries, but I left them all the way in the car. <laughs> uh, so we're not going to get him. We may, may, if we find our way back this way after I get the batteries, maybe we'll get a shot of him. But uh, I always put one in my pocket and why I didn't today. Okay, so I almost stepped on what I believe is a robber fly. And um, I don't know if he's going to let me get a shot. So I'm going to try to take one that's kind of like, again, not, no, he's already gone. Ah. He flew right over there. I'm wondering if I can scoot over there and, and get a photo of him. Maybe if I crawl like a snake, you guys want to see me do that? Hold on, because I'm going to get this ready, because we don't want one-to-one. -one. Where'd he go? Oh, he's still there. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Oh, he flew. Clearly, I'm wasting my time. Now he's waiting. He's gone. <laughs> now we gotta get up. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. We got. You still filming me? Try to get up. <laughs> okay. Let's go find a jumping spider. Okay, I've got a white spider that I have never seen before. And he's right next to a stink bug. I don't know if he's bitten the stink bug. You know what I'm going to try to do? This might be a crab spider, and if it is, it's the first crab spider I've ever seen. Uh, in real life, anyway. I've seen other people getting photos of them, especially people in the UK. I'm going to go down here to a spot of sand. And I'm going to get Mikey to help me. Come here. I want you, you're going to sit down and you're going to hold him this way. Just like that. Yep. Now go down with him. No, 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 no. Don't go too low. I don't want him jumping off. So basically I'm trying to get him at a good angle here. I am going to try one to one. I'm a little worried about the flash. Because he's a white, white spider. <sighs> okay, I'm pretty surprised. He's not blown out at all. The fuser seems to be working pretty well. 
Okay, so I just found a stink bug, but he's up on top of one of the pieces of grass. And what's cool about this is he's backlit. Again, I'm not going to start at one to one because I just think this would be a really cool, more environmental shot with him being backlit like this. All right, he's kind of moved behind the blade of grass here. Let's see, if I can move myself. Oh, there's more of them there. Hmm. Okay, obviously the wind's going to start kicking up now. I am going to see if I can grab the blade of grass here. Hmm. See what we can do with this. Okay, so I got several shots of two of them together with it backlit. I just make it makes for a good shot. The only problem is they're on the side of my screen. I didn't get them centered in the screen, which is horrible. That's my fault completely. So I'm going to try this again. Except here, I'm going to do go for the single one and see if I can actually get him in the center of the screen. Okay, so that was the single shot, or not single shot, but the one that was by himself. And he's actually got the other two kind of in the background, bokeh out. Again, backlit. I just think this is making for a beautiful shot. And this isn't even at one-to-one. -one. This is, I, it's kind of like pixel peeping. People get obsessed with pixels. You know, how many pixels does a, or megapixels does, does a camera have? And I think in macro, they get obsessed with the same thing. They, they have to go one-to-one -one or they have to go even farther. When sometimes most, some of these gorgeous shots are not at one-to-one -one even. They're pulled out a little bit. They're shown some of the environment. They're, there's no flash being used. There's natural light and the way it even flares on the lens sometimes being used to make a really beautiful shot. And I think that's kind of what just happened there with that last one is I'd have the sun in the background. No flash being used. I'm not at one-to-one. -one. Pulled back a little bit. And uh, I think that just made for a beautiful shot. And I'm going to go ahead and end it there. If Is that a spider, guys? Look on that one. Is that a spider? Slowly, slowly. Is that a spider? Okay, so just as I was about to close this video out, right in front of me, backlit with the sun, is a spider eating something. So I'm going to see if I can ease my way up there. Don't. Don't mind me, guys. This might be another one of those crab spiders, too. Oh, wow. All right, so we're going to go for this shot. Again, he's basically being backlit. And it is. It is a spider eating something. Just, uh, oh, the wind's killing me on this one. I'm not sure what to do here because the wind's kicking. I can't get a good angle on his face because the wind's kicking. And I really want to get that kind of backlit look on him. So I'm. All right, I'm going to let him go for now. Oh, I got another bug here too that's backlit. Look at that. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Right as I see him, the wind starts blowing. Oh, come on. These backlit shots are just making for. What I think are going to be beautiful shots if I can get the wind to leave me alone here. All right, I'm going to bring him lower to try to get him out of the wind, and hopefully, hopefully I still get a nice shot here. Okay. Out of one of those, I probably have a nice shot. Won't be a super sharp, sharp shot or photo, but that's not really what I'm going for here. And then this guy here, I, I don't know what to do with him. There we go. All right, I'm going to leave him alone. <laughs> okay, 
so for real this time we're going to close the video out i hope you guys enjoyed this one like and sub subscribe keep sharing god's creativity through your creativity get out here and have fun i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.